What up? Hey ladies and gentlemen, Tyler here, and I just want to thank Learning Bird for sponsoring this video. Check out learningbird.com. Also, tarveracademy.com, where I am from. Thank you for your day. Let's learn about Google Slides. So what we want to talk about today in Google Slides, again, Google Slides is PowerPoint for Google. Google Slides, we want to learn about animations, okay? If something's animated, it's like, it's very, obviously not just the cartoons, but if you're animated, like, oh, that person's very animated, it means you're like, hey, everybody, here I am. You like, you have like a, um, some sort of big entrance or something to where you're like, you're like, like you have something about you that's more than just normal, okay? You're animated for some reason. Now, in Google Slides, an animation is taking something, and instead of it just appearing, you want to make something come in and have some sort of life to it, some sort of character to it. Um, not always appropriate. Um, I wouldn't do it if I was doing like just a regular job interview, unless you wanted to fade in and look cool. But I wouldn't do anything crazy like no spinny, spinny spins or loop de loops. Okay, so let's look at animations and figure out how to use them. You ready? Okay, so we're in our presentation. Hello, presentation. Hi. Okay. So, um, let's say we are right here at the top of my presentation, and I want to add an animation. I would go to View, and then Animations. Click that. Now, you can also do Command Option Shift B. That's a lot. I'll just click that. So, it brings up my Animations tab on the right. Okay? Now, I can choose to make just an animation for the slide, so I can go in here and select that. And then I can pick if I want it to fade in, no transition, slide from left, slide from right, etc. That's my slide. Now, I want to add an animation. That's just really for my slide. That was a bonus feature. We want to select an object to animate. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick anything in here. It can be a chunk of text. It can be a picture, etc. So let's say I want my presentation where it says presentation. Now it pops up add animation. Click that. Now I have options, okay? It can fade in on the click. That's what I am right now. I can change that to um, zoom in, spin. Let's do spin. That looks crazy. Spin. And then I want it to do it um, on click after previous or with previous. I want on click. And then you can choose the speed of it. Let's put it at medium. And let's hit play. See what it looks like. That slid in. We're going to click. And it spins you have an animation. All right, let's look at one more. I'm gonna click down to this third picture. Now, we can add this. Obviously, it would stop, because we wanna stop the animation. Now, I wanna click on this picture right here. Now, I've got a picture of my son, Titus. Hello, Titus. Say hi to the people. Hi, everybody. Okay, so I wanna add an animation. First, I need to select that picture. Add animation. I can have it fade in, disappear, fly in from top. Let's do that, fly in from top, because he's like a superhero. Do it on the click. We got it about three-fourths fast speed. We can add another animation. Let's do this. Um, it's still attached. Now, if you look up there, you can see the picture of what it's attached to. Okay? I don't want to do that. I want to add his name, and I want to add another animation. We'll have it fade in on the click. Okay? And then, why not? We'll do one more. I'm clicking the text, add animation, and I want it to disappear and hit play. Okay, so it fades in. Okay, now I did them on the click, so hit click. Comes in from the top, click, it appears, click, um, it's gonna disappear. So I can choose things to appear or disappear or fade in or fade out or however I want them to appear in my slideshow, okay? Now keep in mind, some of these can look a little bit um, silly. If it's spinning in and doesn't need to, um, if you're kind of giving a presentation to a group of adults, they're not going to be super like pumped about it spinning in. If it's like third or fourth graders, yeah, they're going to think it's pretty dope. Okay, um, so kind of pick your audience, but uh, you have the options to kind of make it a little flashier, and it's only going to get better because it's Google. Okay, I think Keynote right now probably has the best um, transitions and procedure, but Google's going to be there. Um, just wait for it. So. That's how you do animations, and thanks again, Learning Bird, for sponsoring this post. You guys subscribe. Say hi to your mom. Tell her she's doing a great job. Peace. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com.